if you're not blissful, if you are morose, if you are unhappy, it means you're not thinking of Krishna. <laughs> And if you're not thinking of Krishna, you must be thinking of Maya. So if you're not in Krishna consciousness, you're in Maya consciousness. And Maya consciousness means we're thinking, I am the body. The body, the body is always miserable. Even though your body may be very nice, you may look very good, but still you can be very miserable if you are in that consciousness. So how to get out of the bodily consciousness of life? We have to take up devotional service. So you put in the Unurun Bhavili or Naka, but Bhakti Margaret. We have to engage in devotional service means we should quickly take shelter of the holy name, grab our bead bag and do a lot of chanting. Loud chanting of the holy name will conquer the Maya. Just like as soon as we put on the light, there's no darkness. Where there is Krishna, there can be no Maya. Krishna Angar Karoma Maya to wife. So we want to always be in Krishna consciousness. Of course there are different levels of Krishna consciousness. We say there is a, there is a, the junior devotee, we say Kanista devotees, junior devotee. The junior devotee, they think God is only in the temple. <laughs> so they can only do the puja in the temple. They don't see God in the heart of all the people. So Kanista is also a devotee, it's also an advanced platform. They're not ordinary people. They're very good. They're devotee. Kanista Nayanu, Kanista Nagu, Vimbu Guriam Nadano. Vimbu Sadan Mela Vaishnav Ram's dear. But they have the limited vision. They can only see God in the deity. They can only they do their puja, they don't see God in the living and other people. Some people say, there are some people, they, they're called Arya Samaja. Do you have Arya Samaja here in Malaysia? Yes, I can. Here comes Arya Samaja. Arya Samaja. Singapore. So Arya Samaj, they say they won't go to temple. They think no. They only they do the they only do the yakya. They don't like to go to temple. Arya Samaj is quite a common They don't like to worship deity. But God is everywhere. So if he's everywhere, he's also in the temple. Bhagwan in Gimir Kare, and Gimir Kana Koinya. So we should go to the temple and we should worship the deity. Just like you're coming here, you're coming to the temple, you can see we how we worship. We just did the worship, Lord Nashinga did there this evening. So this is 
apart from bhakti yoga, devotional service, you have to worship Krishna. You have to know how to worship Krishna. So you know the bhakti and the Krishna or Angam, maybe some of Krishna and Krishna are very important. How to worship God? You think sometimes in the temples they worship God in funny ways. So some of the koi do and the Bhagwan and the Bharwar Vidama very important. They give him a mobile phone. So we have to learn how to worship Krishna. Sometimes people they will offer everything to in the deity. They will offer all kinds of non-vegetarian food even to the deity. So people have to learn, they have to be educated how to worship God. And in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says what kind of food he likes. There is food in the mode of goodness, food in the mode of passion, food in the mode of ignorance. Right? If you eat meat, fish and egg, that is food in the mode of ignorance. And, and if you eat food which is very, very hot, very spicy, or very oily, or very sweet, that is the mode of passion. But if you eat food which is fresh and tasty and nourishing and nutritious, that is the mode of goodness. Food in the mode of goodness will increase the duration of life. But food in the mode of passion and ignorance reduce the duration of life. They create disease. So, when we offer the food to Krishna, we want to offer food which is tasty. Krishna said, leaf, flower, fruit, water, these things can be offered. We, we learn from Krishna's pure devotees how to cook nice food to offer to Krishna. He taught them what to offer to Krishna and what not to offer to Krishna. How does Prabhupada know? Because Prabhupada knows Krishna. He's in touch with Krishna. He knows what Krishna likes. So we have to hear from the Krishna's pure devotees and they teach us how to worship Krishna. So there is the Kanista devotee, he is the junior devotee, but he's devotee and he worships Krishna in the temple. So the Kanista but he will also sometimes, he will 
சமயத்துல அவர் மற்ற பக்தர் குறை சொல்லிக்கிட்டு போகிறோம் <laughs> 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 So the Madhyam devotee, he will offer his worship to the Supreme Lord. Madhyam Bhaktar Gondi, Vaishnava Gondi, Bhagavan Vali Padpanam. He will associate with the devotee. Bhaktar Bhaktar Gondi, Sangha Vaishnava. And he will give mercy to the innocent people. Um, innocent, I'm going to show you. Appavi. Appavi Makkal Gondi, Karuna Padpanga, Bhaktar Bhaktar Gondi, Sangha Vaishnava. And he will avoid the people who are aparadis, who are offensive. He will just stay away from them. Uh, Matthew, aparadi, aparadi, bhaktra Allah, roga, bhagavan, pura sorong, aula taur paang, madhya madhya. Madhya madhya bhavati is a preacher. If someday he likes to go and tell people about Krishna. Madhya madhya vaishna vandha koi pachan se yunga. So when we go for preaching, we have to know who to preach to. சுப்பிரச்சாரம் போறப்ப நம்ம கிட்ட யாருக்கிட்ட பிரச்சாரம் பண்ண நம்மளுக்கு தெரியும் If somebody is very offensive very angry very nasty we don't try to preach சில பேர் வரவேற்க மாட்டாங்க நம்ம ரொம்ப தர்க்கம் செய்வோம் அவங்களுக்கு நம்ம பிரச்சாரம் பண்ணலாம் Just stay away அவங்க கிட்ட நம்ம தூர விலகிடுவோம் Because if we try to preach to them they become more angry more nasty more offensive நம்ம அவங்க பிரச்சாரம் கூட போவோம் இன்னும் கூட அபராதம் செய்வோம் So, if we make the, if they become more offensive then it's not good on good appearance in jada nalladilla not good for us not good for nammalku nalladilla avungalku nalladilla and so we have to know that somebody is very offensive you they you know i don't i don't like all this yeah what is this get away from me. you know if they're like that very nasty people just leave them alone no? அப்பாவிக்கு <laughs> 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 அவங்க கேட்கிறதுக்கு ஆர்வம் இருக்கு இல்லனா நம்ம நேரத்தை நம்ம வீணாக்க பிரீச்சர் மத்திய மத்திய போதி இஸ் தி ஒன் ஹூ வில் லைக் டு டாக் அபௌட் கிருஷ்ணா இ டெல் देम अबाउट கிருஷ்ணா இ ஹவ் டு சேவ் கிருஷ்ணா மத்திய மகிஷ்ணவர் வந்து பிரச்சாரம் பண்ண ஆசை அவர் கிருஷ்ணாவ தெரியும் அவர் பிரச்சாரம் அவர் பத்தி மத்தவங்க பகிர்ந்துக்க அவர் ஆசை சோ தி பிரீச்சர் தி போதி இஸ் வெரி ஆக்டிவ் is always looking where is the new person where is the innocent person who to preach to the prachar sir bhakta romba aruma irukkan yaatu poi pagindukala yaatu poi sollala yaaru poi ekama irukkan there's a nice story in shrimad bhagavata about narada muni shrimad bhagavata nalla arumiyana oru purana kadai irukku narada muni narada muni is a great preacher he travels many places மக்கள் <laughs> <laughs> from the womb of his wife he had 10000 sons aur aur konje 10000 pullinga kalachu so he he, uh, he told them 
before you get married, they said first you go and you do some tapasya, and then when you come back, we'll arrange marriage for you. So the 10,000 boys all went to the holy place, they went to this Narayana Sara, this big lake, it's a very holy place. And they, they all went there and they were there and they were doing tapasya. And Narada Muni, he saw them and he thought, oh, they are very nice young men, they are very good men. Why do you need to get married? So Narmani Patar Uramba Yelamyana Yelam Khan Yelam Pasakala Kanga, Pattaya Bhagavad Kanga, Yedika Vakalyama Yelam Narmani So he preached to them and he told them, you know, that about another place, there's another world, there's another place you can go. If, if, if you go in the, into the family life, you may get stuck there. Better you don't go into So we won't go home. And instead we will go back to God. So Daksha was very disappointed. He heard, oh, my son, so not coming back again. He was very sad. I wanted to get them married, I wanted to have them make them happy in life. So again, he, he had more sons, this time one thousand. So again, he had more sons, this time one thousand. And again, the same thing happened. He told his son, you go and do tapasya first, when you come back, we'll have the marriage. So the 1,000 sons all went to the same place, and Narada Muni saw them all, and he saw they were doing good tapasya, they are very strict devotees, he thought, very nice young men. They don't need to get married. So, he the Lord is going to get the Lord. He 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 is going to get to get the the to they went to the spiritual world. They went back to God. You should follow them. So when the Narada Mishra and Vishnu Tambi the Narada Mishra now, Ananda went there. We didn't go. More artists went there. Ananda girl went there. Went there. So they thought, yes, we want to follow our older brother. So Priya, I'm going to Ananda Mishra and Vishnu Tambi the Narada Mishra. Just like Lord Chaitanya, he had an older brother. His older brother went home. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ka nama kao do anar de ka. Lord Chaitanya did like his older brother. So Auron Sanya Shantara, Auron Amana Mari, we own Asal. So the, all the young, the, the 1,000 sons, they all went back to God and they didn't go home. Na Ayana Puru, Auron Bhagavan Parvasa Nalaka, Parvasa Nalaka Pritanga, Auron Vita Kupala. Oh, Daksha was very, oh no. My son, you're supposed to come and help me to populate the universe. He said, next time I'm not going to have sons, and next time we will produce heroes. Heroes have to get married. 
So Krishna consciousness describes there are three levels to go. There is the Kanista, the Madhyama and Uttama. Depending on faith. Some people have weak faith, some people have faith a bit stronger, and some people have very strong faith. So just like if we are a new devotee, 
then our faith, our faith will not be very strong. <coughs> Maybe you just become a you you're just trying to become a vegetarian. You're beginning to be a vegetarian. And then people say, Oh, you're vegetarian. Oh, you get sick. You know you get very weak. Oh, vegetarian, no, it's not healthy, you know. So and then if we have weak faith, we don't know what to say, we think, oh, maybe he's right, maybe I should be right. And then Nambike Korvark Narela on the Aungusoda Nambet, Mama Sulu, Mata, and Pijapin and Betu. And somebody else, maybe they're on the intermediate level, somebody tells them, you don't, no, you, somebody tells them that you should eat meat. They don't know how to defeat the argument. And so they, they don't eat meat, but they didn't know how to defeat them. They didn't know how to tell them the vegetarian diet is good. It's huh? Yeah. Matima Bhakti the Kanista devotee, he had, oh, you should eat, you, you, it's not good to be vegetarian. He, he even thinks to become up to start eating meat again because he is so confused. He doesn't have knowledge, he doesn't have anything. So, Kanista Bhakti Rolunda, on Nambi Korar Kunala, what the one then is Sayumar Kadundu on Sarila. But somebody else on the intermediate level, they know no vegetarian is good. They can't, but they don't know why. They cannot. They, they cannot tell the person why it's good to be a vegetarian. But the, the topmost devotee, the Uttama devotee, if somebody says. To them, Oh, vegetarian diet is no good. They can tell them why it is good. They can defeat them. So, Uttama Vaishnavata, our Vitanya, our Vitanya, Sayyama, Yar, Kuno, Yedika, Kuno, Aunga, one day, Yar, and the person, our Tarka, and they can tell them. They will tell the meat eater, you're a sinful person. You like to kill animals. You're cruel. You're, 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 you're also, you're getting terrible karma. For killing the animals. So I wonder the Asimus up in Solom, the Rombo Pound sitting there, and the Karma Rikide, but no Jiva is equal to India, and we don't work for it. And it's very unhealthy to be a meat eater. You get cancer, you can get so many diseases from meat eating. So in the Mary Asimus up another Palapra Noi were wrong, cancer were wrong, you may not be a no Noi were wrong, Solom. And they can tell them that vegetable diet is a proper diet for human body. The length of the design of the intestines in the human body is very complex. It takes time for the food to go through the body. The meat eater, the meat eating animal like the dog and the tiger, they will eat meat that goes through the body very quick. They have a very short intestine. But the human body the intestines very long, takes a long time for the food to go. And the the So when you put meat in the human body, that's why you can easily get sick. Also the acid which is in the human body is not strong enough to digest to dissolve the meat. and the and the the sign of the acid, and the acid of the jirna makkuthi patta. 
the meat-eating animals, the dog and the tiger and that, they have very strong, a lot of acid in their tongue, stomach. They can digest the meat quickly. But the human body is different. We don't have the same acids to dissolve the meat. Also, our teeth are flat, they're more, they're for grinding the food. They're not for just the meat, you just, the meat eating animals, they just tear the meat and swallow it. So, number of money that will follow one day, Romba, Saman Elena, Murugan Sapran, the Kara, and the Pulin, Kora Pulin. But when you eat grains, then you chew more. So all of these, if you study the design of the human body, you can see the human body is meant for eating vegetarian food. It's not meant for meat eating. So in the Mari Mandir Buddha and Maharaji Patunaka, number Buddha on the Say Sai Vanda as Sai was up. So in this way if somebody knows these things, then he can convince the meat eater that you're wrong. You don't know. Meat vegetables are the real diet for the human body. So in the Mari Vishin Terja Mandu, Poya, Asai was up and make the Tarka Mandrapa, our India to Karichi in the Sol Tapun Sundhi. In the same way, people may say, why you're chanting this Hare Krishna mantra? Why you're wasting your time? You sit there just chanting, mm, chanting Hare Krishna mantra. They'll think, well, it's just a waste of time. Why you do this? So, in North Tarkana, you know, you think Hare Krishna mantra, Jabu Parangya, Nyar Devina, Nyar Devina, Nyar Devina, Nyar Devina, So, can you start a new devotee? They'll get affected. They think, oh, maybe I shouldn't chant. Maybe I shouldn't chant. So, Kanista Bhaktarajan Ama also do me a comment for number one, Jabba Banamar Khan and Nipam. And the main stock chants. So, I promise the Bajabu Sidi party. And the Madhyam devotee, he likes to chant, but he doesn't know, he can't argue, he doesn't know the argument how to defeat the person. Madhyam devotee, Jabba Sidi Padi Khan, Anna, I will be free Tarkam Mandra, the Pudarkam Mandra, the Tiriyadam. But the Uttama devotee, he knows the answer. She's got faith and knowledge. And somebody may say, why you're chanting? You'll say, this chanting, this is a transcendental sound vibration. So in the Uttam Bhakti Sura, in the chanting was there? Transcendental. Transcendental Sura. Anmiga Mana or Mantra. In the Anmiga Saptam Sura. And this sound vibration is a mantra. Mantra. Man means a mind and tra means to free. The mantra, the sound vibration will free the mind from all the material attachment. In the Wuli within the Satam Munde, the Satam Wuli Sulunde, Mantra Sulunde. Mantra na, Manade, Manna, Manade, Trana, Vidivit. Either with the Jada Asuna, Amber Vidivit. In the material world, everyone is in anxiety. They're all full of anxiety. But if you chant Hare Krishna mantra, you get free of anxiety. anxiety. Anxiety so one who is on the topmost platform, he can defeat them and he can teach them how to chant. So Uttama Vaishnavanda Adalna Amutur Karichi Amutar Kampani Yepri Jamana Vasuri. Just like Haridas Thakur, he was a great devotee. So, some people were envious of Haridas Thakur because he was always chanting holy name. They thought this man is not a good man. They thought he's just a just pretender. He's not a real devotee. 
சில பேருக்கு வந்து ஹரிதாஸ் தாக்குறது வந்து கொஞ்சம் பிடிக்கல இவர் சரி இவர் வந்து பக்தர் கிடையாது ஒரு சும்மா ஒரு நாலு மணி ட்ராமா போறாரு இவர் ஏமாத்துற நினைச்சு ஒரு <laughs> He was chanting 192 rounds. 192 rounds. That means 64 rounds. 64 rounds is 1 lakh names. 64 rounds is 1 lakh names. Thakur was chanting every day 3 lakh names. So 3 times 64. 192 rounds. So this young prostitute girl, she came there, she tried to suggest Haridas Thakur. So Haridas Thakur said, oh you have to wait, I have to finish my rounds. When I finish my rounds, then I will enjoy it. So in the village, we have to say that Haridas Thakur is the one who is the one who is the one who is the one who is the one. ஜமோ பண்ணி முடிக்கல முடிச்சத பிறகு நம்ம ரெண்டு பேரும் ஒண்ணு சேர்ந்து குதிக்கலாம் சோ தி நைட் பாஸ் அண்ட் இட் கேம் டு மார்னிங் தி சன் கேம் அப் அண்ட் ஹரி தாஸ் தாக்கர் செட் டு தி கேர் ஆஃப் ஓ ஐம் சாரி ஐ குட் நாட் ஃபினிஷ் மை ரவுண்ட் சோ அந்த காலையில பார்த்தா அப்படியே ஜமோன கால விழுந்துருச்சு விழுந்து பார்த்தா அந்த பொண்ணு விழுந்துருச்சு அழகா சாகு சோய் ரொம்ப மன்னிச்சிரு ரவுண்ட் முடிக்க முடியல அப்படி சொல்லி மன்னிப்பு கேட்டாரு அந்த அப்பாட சோக்கர்னா இன்னைக்கு மன்னிச்சிரு திரும்பி வா இன்னைக்கு ராத்திரி கூத்தடிக்கலாம் மறுநாளுக்கும் இந்த பெண்ணு வந்துச்சு கொஞ்சம் இருக்கா முடிச்சிடலாம் அப்படி சொன்னாரு ஆத்ரி ஆலியா சார் குடுத்தார் சான் பண்ணிட்டாங்க அந்த यंग கேரோ यंग वुமன் ஷி இஸ் லிஸ்னிங் ஷி இஸ் ஹியரிங் தி ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா இந்த பொண்ணு வந்து அந்த ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா மந்திரம் கேட்டுக்கிட்டு அதோ வந்து தான் பண்ணாங்க and again the sun came up in the morning and hari darshan oh and so i i could not finish my run so adhe mari marubadi vidinja porga hari darshan ko manichiru inno chaan panni mudikumulla jabu panni mudikumulla appadi sonna come back to me மறுபடியும் இன்னைக்கு ராத்திரி வா நம்ம கூட்டம் கண்டிப்பா இன்னைக்கு நம்ம கூட்டம் இருக்கிறேன் சொன்னாங்க நீ உன் கூட நானும் ஜபம் பண்ணி நானும் என்ஜாய் பண்ண போறேன் நீ மட்டும் என்ஜாய் பண்ற மாதிரி இருக்கு In the beginning, she was thinking, now he's chanting Hare Krishna, but after he enjoyed with me, he will chant my name. So, in the very modern time, when I was doing Hare Krishna Mantra, I would say, 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 I would say. But, after a few days of hearing Hare Krishna Mantra from Hare Das, she wanted to chant. So, she was going to play a point with her and the pin and the channel, she was going to jump up on her own channel. So, Hari Das told her, you go home, you give mm-hmm. away everything, you give away all your possessions, come back here. <laughs> so, the pin and the Hari Das said, okay, go to the point, 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 go to the point. So, she went home. she distributed everything to the poor people and to the brahmanas and she came back and haridas gave her the beads he said now you sit here and chant 
And we should offer obeisances to the devotee who has undergone spiritual initiation and is engaged in worshipping the deity. So, and we should associate with and faithfully serve a devotee who is fixed in undeviating determination and does not criticize. One who is the really the advanced devotee, they will not criticize anyone. But Prabhupada said, I have to see the faults. Prabhupada said, as a spiritual teacher, it's my duty to find the fault. And he will, Prabhupada would say, why like this? Why who did this? This is wrong. Who's done this? Just like one day, you know, Prabhupada was very sick. This was in Bombay. I was in Bombay, Mumbai. Now they call Mumbai, it used to be Bombay. So I was there at the Juhu temple. <coughs> Prabhupada was not well. He wanted devotees to come and chant for him. Prabhupada was over at the Katapuram in Bombay, Mumbai, London, for Mara Chandra, Prabhupada Sunara, Makhila, and Gordon, all the city, and Makhila did Jabam for him, Kitan for him. Prabhupada would just lay on the bed and we would just go in and we would chant. And we had cartel. This is a big cartel. We had very small cartels. And we would just have one pair, no madanga, just one pair of cartels. And just two of us. So I was with another brahmachari and we went there to sit for Prabhupada to chant. So we were chanting Hare Krishna and then after some time the devotee, the other devotee who was with me, he started to sing Govinda Jai Jai. <laughs> so upon Hare Krishna Chitra Mani Gulapa, the Brahmachari Reepanta was the Tidina Dharaksha Madhavate Govinda Jai Jai. So immediately Prabhupada opened his eyes and said, just chant. The Prabhupada was in Vrindavan, you know in Vrindavan the people will say, Radhe Radhe. So if they said to Prabhupada, Radhe, 
They're not following everything. <laughs> they're not chanting. They're not following everything. <laughs> so, so now, Allah <laughs> The first thing is chanting the holy name. If you're not chanting the holy name, you didn't begin your spiritual life. The beginning of Krishna consciousness is chanting the holy name, and the perfection of Krishna consciousness is chanting. You say, I'm following four roads, I'm a vegetarian. Oh, so what? There's so many vegetarians, but they're not devotees. So, just to be vegetarian. This is not very great. Every civilized person should be will follow these four principles. Intoxication, gambling, illicit sex, making these are things for these are principles for every cultured and civilized person. They must follow these. But that doesn't mean they're devotees. So in the we don't want to just preach only but be vegetarian. We're not a vegetarian society. And we're not preaching just morality. You know, you get in China, you get these people, they, they have these uh, things they try to preach about morality to people. Oh, and no gambling, no illicit sex, and like that. No intoxication to get people to do these things. <laughs> It always fails. If you're not chanting, if you're not doing devotional service, it will be very difficult to follow the four principles. But when you chant Hare Krishna every day, then you'll get then you'll be able to follow straight. But if you're not chanting, how long you can follow? You won't follow these principles. Right? When you want to get Krishna's mercy, you have to chant the holy name. You may not be chanting 16 rounds, you may not be initiating, but you should chant. Everyone should chant. This is the process. In the Kali Yuga, there is no other process for self-realization but to chant the Holy Name. So I beg all of you, I fall at your feet and beg all of you, please, you chant this Holy Name. Chant the holy name and take nice prasad. <laughs> 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 Maharaj will distribute some prasadam. Uh, we can there is some prasadam. I think the book DBT DBT is some play big tray, some some sweet 
So Bhagavad and Charan will do nice kirtan by Maharaj Kishibit Krishna. Okay? Yeah.